everyone, welcome back to the plant-based theory. Today I am going to be talking about detoxes. So grab your lemon water and your coffee enemas and let's dive in. Okay, so let's first determine what a detox actually is because there are so many detox products and programs and whatever's out there that um, it's hard to distinguish what a detox is actually supposed to be. In a giant nutshell, a detox gets rid of the crap that your body doesn't want. Whether it's poisonous crap or extra crap or crap crap, it just shouldn't be in your body and it's your body's way of eliminating it. And we can get rid of these things through our hair, through our sweat, through our breast milk, through our urine, through our poop. Our body is pretty intelligent and it will do whatever it takes to get rid of the crap we don't need. The ironic thing here is that our body is constantly detoxing. We're constantly preparing this crap that we don't need, whether it's toxic or too much of it. We're preparing it for elimination, which is the detoxification process. And there are different steps to this detoxification process. I'm not going to dive in deeper than I need to today, but just know that detoxification is the process that happens before the elimination of crap that your body doesn't need. So, yes, we're constantly doing this. It mostly happens in our liver, but it also happens all over our body. So, if we're constantly detoxing, why do we need to do a detox, you ask? Great question. This is where the concept of toxic burden comes into play. We're born toxic. Babies are born with toxins that cross the placenta that come from the mother. Um, and it can be anything from like, Roundup to mercury to whatever and throughout our lifetime we continue to put ourselves around things that we don't need and our body absorbs them or inhales them or ingests them whatever they find their way in there and so our toxic burden is constantly growing and this comes from our water supply the crap in our air it also is our personal care products um, it's candles it's air fresheners it's like hair dye when you go to the salon, it's plastic nails, it's receipts from grocery stores, it's everything. So we are swimming in crap that our body doesn't need, and so our toxic burden is constantly growing. Now a lot of these things you might say, well this was tested and you know it was shown not to have a level of harm that's going to be bad for us, but the problem with a lot of testing on these chemicals is that they're tested by themselves in a petri dish in a lab, which does not correlate with how real life works. Um, nobody's tested the synergistic effects of everything that we're exposed to because quite honestly, that would be impossible. We're exposed to thousands of things at different levels and different times and everybody's exposed to different amounts. So how would we measure that? It doesn't happen. But we can tell you that the people who are exposed to the most things have the most problems. <laughs> so uh, that's not the scientific term, obviously. But the people who really are around more chemicals, whether it's in their, you know, work environment or their home environment, they tend to exhibit more signs and symptoms of disease. So what happens is our detoxification system, which is constantly working, starts to get overwhelmed. It's like, whoa, Nelly, um, can't handle this. It's like, you know, our bodies aren't magic they're pretty phenomenal, but they're not magic. So they can't just handle everything that's thrown at them. Eventually there's a threshold for your detoxification system that goes, that's enough, can't handle it. And stuff starts to build up. And remember, this is stuff that we don't want in our body. So to get back to the point of this video, the point of a detox is to enhance your detoxification system so it can handle whatever is being thrown at it. Now the cool thing is that our detoxification system runs on nutrients. Who would have known? So if we give our detoxification system the proper nutrients, it's going to run better than it would if it doesn't have the proper nutrients. Now at the same time, we also obviously want to decrease our toxic burden, meaning get rid of a bunch of the things that are causing this overload of crap in our body to begin with, because there's no point to you know, try to enhance our detoxification system if there's no way we're ever going to climb that mountain of crap that's in our body. So while we are increasing our detoxification system capabilities, we are also decreasing our toxic load. 
Because at the end of the day, when this crap that we don't need in our body gets backed up, whether it's extra estrogen or mercury or alcohol or some medication that you're prescribed or the roundup you inhaled while you were walking past your neighbor's yard. Talk to them about that crap. We're suddenly left with this like sluggish, less than optimal detoxification system and what happens is our body starts to react. So it can be anything from like headaches and brain fog to depression and irritability, to low energy and inflammation, and then there's more serious issues like nausea and vomiting and impaired motor skills and difficulty breathing and numbness and cardiomyopathy and death. I mean, that's why some people <laughs> overdose is because their body's detoxification system couldn't clear whatever it was out of their system quick enough for them to handle it. Now, most people in the world obviously aren't overdosing, but I will say that most people in the world probably do have a detoxification system that's overloaded just based on, you know, how we run our societies now and our lifestyle habits. So to be honest, everyone could use a good old fashioned detoxification pick me up, but it's really not in the way that people think a detox should happen. Because many of the detox programs out there have you fast or like just drink lemon water for three days or something. And that's really not doing much for your detoxification system. In fact, it can even inhibit it by starving it of the nutrients it needs to run properly. So honestly, the last thing we need to do is fast. <laughs> the first thing we need to do is throw a bunch of nutrients that our detoxification system needs at it and let it do its job. So again, while there are different phases of detoxification and I could like dive way deep in here, I'm gonna cut to the chase and just say that detoxification systems need a whole lot of amino acids and vitamins and antioxidants, vitamins specifically B vitamins, <laughs> um, to keep it running properly. And the analogy I like to use is a conveyor belt. If you think of our detoxification system as a conveyor belt, it should be like this wide, fast moving thing that we can just chuck stuff on and it shuttles it out the door. Well, anyone who is eating a nutrient poor diet or is surrounding themselves with so many chemicals that their body's absorbing that they don't need, their conveyor belt is like tiny and narrow and breaking down and the cogs are like creaking to a halt and screaming for some WD-40. And that crap that your body wants to eliminate is like piling up and trying to fit through a tiny hole and falling off the conveyor belt and then re-entering our system. And then we have a problem, folks, because we need that crap out of our body, and if it keeps falling off that conveyor belt and re-entering our system, we're not really detoxing properly. And side note, sometimes these substances that enter our detoxification system, they are changed in a way that they actually become more toxic before our body eliminates them. So if our body can't eliminate them, we're actually producing more toxic compounds and then absorbing those more toxic compounds back into our body, and we're worse off than we started. Rot row. And then it becomes a vicious cycle. So I can't stress this enough. We just need to support our detoxification system by eating lots of clean amino acids, vitamins, specifically B vitamins, and antioxidant phytonutrient rich foods. So there's a couple diets that can do this and there's plenty of research out there to support this, but one's the Mediterranean diet and one's a plant-based diet. Go figure. Bet you didn't see that one coming. The Institute of Functional Medicine also has a great detoxification protocol that they put people on that just basically enhances that detoxification system in your body and helps everything um, get eliminated faster than it was being eliminated. But in a nutshell, if you eliminate processed foods from your diet and eat a whole lot of colorful, vibrant, whole plant foods, rich in all different amino acids and B vitamins, you're going to be enhancing your detoxification system. Now, one last thing I want to discuss before I let you go and start your detox program um, is if you are trying to lose a substantial amount of weight, it is very important that you have your detoxification system supported prior to doing that. The reason is, is that we store a lot of toxins in our adipose slash fat tissue. Okay. So if you were to lose, tons of weight and you didn't have a good detoxification system in place, you'd be losing weight. All of those toxins that were stored in that fat tissue would be released and then you wouldn't be able to handle it. So um, 
if you have lots of weight to lose, make sure that you have your diet sorted first. Um, lots of clean plant-based foods and also you focus on reducing your environmental toxins that you're exposed to. Again, it could be candles, it could be air fresheners, it could be personal care products, it could be cleaning products, it could be not standing next to a car and inhaling <laughs> the exhaust for 12 hours a day. I don't know why you do that. It could be a billion different things, okay? Just bring that crap down. And the reason why we want to eat lots of clean, whole plant foods is that if we eat fatty animal foods, the animals also store their toxins in their fat tissue. So there's no point for us to try to get rid of ours and then eat theirs. Try to avoid lots of animal fats. All right, so I hope I was able to clarify what detox actually means. Long story short, reduce your toxic burden, reduce your toxic exposure. Do not let your body be overwhelmed by the crap that we've put in our environment. Go get a water filter, go get an air purifier, do whatever you need. And at the same time, support your detoxification system by eating lots of clean, whole plant foods like legumes and leafy greens and berries and whole grains. The more color, the better, folks. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's good to be back. I know I've been gone for a while, but um, always here to bring you some good information about plant-based diets. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you next time.